All right, welcome once again to the woods of Pennsylvania. Although currently we're in a parking lot. We're here at Cowan's Gap State Park here in, uh, I believe we're in Franklin County or maybe Fulton County here in Pennsylvania, south, south central Pennsylvania. Of course, earlier today we were over by the abandoned Turnpike Tunnels doing some filming of some other tunnels over there. Had a lot of fun doing that video. But anyway, I'm here for several reasons. One is just obviously to go hiking, but also is if you know, I'm, my, one of my goals is to try and get to every state park here in Pennsylvania. So this is another one here at Cowan's Gap. Not a huge state park. Um, I, they have a little lake here. I think I'm gonna hike around the lake. That's the plan. They have a, a lake, lakeside trail they call it. So let's get going. So this side of the lake is where all the parking is and the, the pavilions and the beach area. So more people on this side but I think once we get to the other side I might have this place ourself a little bit more we'll see but we'll see all what all we can find on these trails here's a view of the lake lots of people out here today this is a Saturday May what is today May 30th I think so a lot of people out fishing, kayaking, little beach area up there. Kind of a nice little uh, family uh, park here, actually. All right, like I said, there is a trail that goes all around the lake, so that's what we're planning is to hike for today. And there are other trails here to hike besides just the, the lakeside trail. But this is what I'll hike for today, I think. I do want to try to get to one more place today, but no rush. My motto this summer is just to slow down and enjoy things a little bit more. So I said that in previous video, sometimes I kind of rush. I feel like I rush through a hike sometimes. All right, finally getting into a little bit more of a woodsy area, leaving some of the people noise behind, some of it. Just another view of the lake. Yeah, this is much better on this side of the lake. Beautiful little trail over here. Some people fishing. And as you know, I do enjoy having the trails to myself, not being overcrowded with people, but there are a lot of people here today. But in a way, it's kind of good to see, you know, after everything that's been going on, everything being shut down, and it's good to see the parks open, people outdoors having a good time again. That's the way it should be. There are some wildflowers over here. This is called a false Solomon seal. There's a regular Solomon seal. Um, false Solomon seal though, the flowers bloom at the tip here. On the, on the real Solomon seal, the flower, the flower buds are, they droop down below the stem. Kind of, you have to kind of pick the stem up underneath to see them. So this is false Solomon seal, but they both look almost exactly the same with the leaves. Oh, a little patch of it there. I'll try to look, keep my eyes open for the real Solomon seal as well, though. And if you're a plant person, it is important to know the difference between the two. The real Solomon seal is highly medicinal in certain ways, but the false Solomon seal is not. So a lot of people get them confused. And that can be dangerous, too, because if you're using Solomon seal for something and you're using the wrong plant, you could yeah, it could be, it could be bad. <laughs> and over here are some more flowers. These, these almost look like little daisies. They're called fleabane. They're called fleabane for a reason. They have like a natural uh, insecticide or a natural bug repellent. So it's the bane of fleas. 
But they're actually pretty small. They're not like regular daisies. Although they look like daisies. So even on a popular lakeside hiking trail, you can still find nature. It is a beautiful trail on this side with all the towering pine trees and with the lake right next to you. If you came out here on an early morning, like on a weekday, you'd have the place to yourself. It'd just be beautiful. I mean, it still is beautiful, but a lot more quiet. Alright, well we do have a treat here though, because there's, there's that tiger swallowtail butterfly there, but flying around down there is another, that is a, oh, that is a hummingbird moth. Or a type of one. I think they belong, oh, they're a type of a sphinx moth. Because you can, you can see why it's called a hummingbird moth. I'll have to try and look up the exact variety if I can. Where'd you go, buddy? Lost. There he is again. That is beautiful, though. All right. Yeah, like I said, that's a hummingbird moth. I've always wanted to film, get one of those on film. They can be kind of difficult to do so. But like I said, they belong to the Sphinx moth family. I think it's caterpillars. If you've ever heard of those tomato hornworm caterpillars, those big green caterpillars that get on your tomato plants. That's them. I should mention too that not all of the hornworms in the hornworm family are the tomato hornworms. I don't think the hummingbird moth caterpillar is the tomato hornworm caterpillar though. It's in that same family. So if you kill if you kill those tomato caterpillars on your plants this summer, you're not like killing hummingbird moths. You're just killing some other type of sphinx moth. <laughs> So it's just a little hike here around Cowan's Gap State Park, at least around the lake. Not a bad little place. It gives off some good vibes, I think. Lots to hear, lots here to do with the family. But that'll be it for me here today, I think. Already back at the Jeep. Not a long trail to hike. If you're looking for a nice little short trail in the area, do it. <laughs> It was cool to see that hummingbird moth. That was probably the highlight of my trail around there. To actually get one on videotape. Because they, they zip around so much, it's hard to film them or get pictures of them. Alright, so that'll be it then. Made it back to my girl here. Like I said, not a very large state park. But the trail around the lake is nice. Alright. Anyway, I'm going to try to head to one other place. One other little state park. A little, little one. So, the... Uh, birthplace of President James Buchanan. Well, hopefully I get there. Uh, anyway, I'll talk about that in the next video. I had a little trouble finding it. Well, not finding it, but getting there. Anyway, I'm, that's, that's for the next video. So anyway, thanks for coming along. Nice little state park. And I'll see you in the next video.